Gemini, this is your June monthly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Gemini. And I upload Gemini readings every single week along with a monthly reading as well. If it does not resonate with you, then I highly recommend you checking out your birth chart and finding out what your moon, rising, and Venus sign is. If, it does, if your sun sign doesn't resonate with you, one of those signs will. And that goes for all tarot readers, not just me. Okay, I'll pull some oracle cards and we'll hop right into your tarot reading, Gemini. Answering the call, the time is now. Gates of triumph, success expands in your life. Miracles, expect the wonders to emerge and what you're not seeing. Watching clouds, lie back, rest, and relax. I feel like you're seeing now you don't have to um, try so hard or work so hard or have things be so difficult. There is this overcoming of the situation that it's like finally, it's like for, I love this card because it's a gates of triumph. If you look at like the gates open and you can finally walk through the door and it's like you're walking straight into these miracles. It's like because you had the courage, because you had the strength, because you had um, the willpower to plug through that's why you were able to go through the gates of triumph. Okay, I'll lay the tarot cards down and then I will go over them. What do I have for you, Gemini? Queen of Swords. Judgment. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Page of Cups. Four of Pentacles and the overall energy is the Eight of Swords. So I really feel like where you have been for a while is just this very much stuck energy and you're finally getting out of it. It's like you finally realize that your voice matters and that being grounded, like all three of these cards are here, which is funny, answering the call, this is the judgment card. This is answering the call. This is stepping into your grounded energy, your power, your stability, and by... The, you're doing that by forgiving and letting go anything that happened. It's like there's almost like this like spark of excitement or spark of joy or spark of whatever it is is going to push you into this forgiveness. Taking care of yourself, protecting yourself, putting yourself first is what you're learning and that you're you're moving out of this energy. That I I'm actually really glad that this card is sitting here because the way that I interpret this specific spread is like this is what you're trying to accomplish and these are the cards that get you out of this situation or into this situation. So and obviously we don't want to be stuck in our own head but how do we get out of our own head is like we actually we see our worth. And we realize that we matter and we realize that we are capable and then we do have the ability to do what it is that we want. And that's exactly what you're doing is that is moving into the gates of triumph. And when you step into that, your vibration actually raises and by raising your by taking care of yourself, by letting go of emotional attachments and stressors and things like that, by letting them go. Miracles are endless. You do tap into that higher vibration. You do tap into that movement. You do tap into what it is that you're looking for. You do, it's like, there's, I'm really loving this Knight of Wands and this Page of Cups and this Four of Pentacles right here, right in a row. Because it's like, there's almost like strike of insight or something that happens that just like rebuilds that fire that that excitement that joy internally in it that has you know like um it's not the anger pilot light that you know if you don't shut that off it'll 
you know, ignite whenever somebody throws gasoline on it. It's the, that energy, that life force that people have in them that keeps them going, that pushes them into a direction. It's that is what you have. It's that movement forward. It's that movement into taking care of yourself. It's like no longer settling, no longer being stressed, no longer real, like realizing that the worries and the stresses and the things that were happening, a lot of it was inside your own head. It's this Queen of Swords and this judgment together that are like, this is answering the call of, you know what? This, there has to be better than this. Like, like no more letting stresses um, bother you. Like when you're in chaos or conflict or whatever it is, like you still have that knowledge of like, everything's going to be okay. That's exactly what these three cards are saying. And if you're moving right out of this nine of swords. Okay, Gemini, in the extended, I'm going to pull some clarifying cards. I will also... Uh, Go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing and answer the three yes or no questions with my pendulum. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Gemini and I upload Gemini readings every single week along with the monthly readings as well. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out and I'll see you over there.